we're here at BYU Idaho in the Exercise Physiology Lab today to do a VO2 max test. Uh, just remember that um, if you're used to doing the bicycle, then it is your max test. But if you usually run, then you probably want to do the treadmill test instead. So for this test, we're going to show you we have this data sheet um, that we're going to be recording our data on. as well as we've used um, the mask with carbon med system. We're using the rubber mask instead of the mouthpiece for this one, the headpiece, um, and then we have the same um, T-valve setting and the tubing that goes into our metabolic cart. Okay. So also for this test, you'll notice that we used a polar length uh, monitor. This transmitter we had around his chest. We had a heart rate uh, monitor watch to pick that up and then this polar link heart rate uh, transmitter that went into the computer itself. As you can see on the screen we have entered the subject's name, age, height, weight and you put on there um, we need to put on there that he is a male and that we're doing a bike test and we also put on the indoor temperature, humidity and barometric pressure. Okay, now the subject is doing a three minute warm up. For trained individuals, we would do 80 to 100 watts for three minutes. For untrained, we're going to do a 50 to 70 watts. And our subject says he's untrained, so he's chosen uh, to start out with 60 watts for three minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to increase the load to 80 watts and start our test. Okay, so you can see that now we're going to start our test and it's going to record data on our screen every 15 seconds. We will do two minute stages and our goal is to get an RER, respiratory exchange ratio of 1.1 or we're going to record max heart rate and get within about um, 15 beats of that or not at least to go make sure we don't go over their max heart rate anyway. Um, the other thing that we're looking at is we're looking to see if oxygen uptake kind of plateaus and we'll look at that and look and make a chart of that later but volitional exhaustion is really what we tell our subject. Um, we want to get an RPE, which is ratings of per perceived exertion, and we want to be in this red zone. So if they're at a 20, they're maximally exerted, and they're not able to go anymore, they're done. So for this test, that's really where we want to get them, is somewhere in the red zone. And we're going to tell them that their RPE includes their leg muscles, how they feel, if they're lightheaded, out of breath, anything that, uh, it's an overall rate. Two minute mark. What we're going to do is we're going to take our data. We're going to look at this RER -E, -E value. We're going to look at the heart rate value. And then we're going to ask him what his RPE is. We don't want him to talk, but we want him to point to the tape on the bike and read this and tell us what it is. So you're going to point over there. Hold on, where are you at? Okay, so stage one was 80 watts. On stage two, we're going to do 100 watts, and stage three will be 120 watts. And we keep going until volitional exhaustion. Yep. Okay, now our RER is up to 1.03. Um, heart rate is about 154. And let's get an RPE value on this level. 15. So the subject tells us 
once he's about done, if we can finish this level, uh, basically if they give us this sign because they can't talk, that means they're going to end the test. I'm going to take the last data at this level and give him, ask him his RPE, which is a 19 or 20. Two, okay. So what we're going to do now is set, you can see his RER is 1.1. We're going to end the test, hit yes. And we're going to let him go ahead and take uh, his watts down to zero and cool down. You never want to just stop the test. You want them always to cool down. So he can do this for a couple minutes. Normally we look at the heart rate to cool down between 100 and 110 beats per minute. We can look at the bottom of his report and it will show you that his maximum VO2 is 46.9 milliliters per kilograms per minute. It also shows liters per minute and mets, but we're gonna be concerned with the milliliters per kilogram per minute. Okay, so we did an Excel export. You can see there's time right here. We've got the VO2 in milliliters per kilogram per minute. VCO2 is measured in liters per minute here. There's other things you can look at if you'd like to. The RER is here, respiratory rate, uh, we have the heart rate, even how many calories they burned. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a graph to see whether he um, plateaued or not. So for our graph, we are going to highlight time. Okay, then we're going to hold the control button. Okay, now I'm going to go up the VO2 in milliliters per kilogram per minute. So I'm plotting, the first column will be your X, the second column will be your Y. Okay, now we're gonna go up here and we're going to do an insert, scatter plot. We're gonna do this. And then over here, we're going to add axes titles and put in a trend line. And what we're looking for is to see if that plateaus or not. So we're gonna put our subject, we can put VO, two with the bike on there um, that we can put down here we can put time in minutes and then over here our axes we're going to put vo2 and we did that one in milligrams per kilogram per minute okay and let's just bring this over here, make it a little bit bigger so we can see a little bit better whether that plateaued or what we think that did. So we do have a trend line in here. Um, and you can see there's a lot of scatter points above and below, but you're just going to see, do you think it spiked up? Do you think it went flat? Um, it's kind of in the middle of a, a, a lot of different points. So normally you'll have to be like a 19 or 20 and keep it there for a stage or two for it to level out. But even if you wanted to, you could do your own trend line here and then you could see how that jumps up. So basically, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it plateaued at this point. Um, to have a true plateau, you would have to keep that 19 or 20 for a couple more stages. So then what we did was we labeled his high point, which was 46.889 milliliters per kilogram per minute.